everybody, it's me, Marvon again. And today is Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Oh my God. I think Mother's Day should be cherished and appreciated and celebrated every single day of our lives. I know I'm like laying in bed lazy, okay? It's like I feel like I'm the one on vacation. But well, if you guys have been like on my timeline with my videos, um, my mom doesn't live here. She lives in Miami, Florida, and I live here in New York City by my stone, little old me. And, you know, I send her flowers or I'll just like give her a nice little phone call. She doesn't have FaceTime, so I can't really like FaceTime her so much. But I I feel like I'm blessed. And, you know, a lot of people in this world don't even have moms, and some people do. Some people have figures that, okay, this person could be my mom. But I am so thankful that God picked this big old Latin lady to be my mother. Mm -hmm. Memories of my mom when I was a child are very beautiful. Oh, if you can see my sarcastic face. My mom was a regular Latin mom. Okay, she was loud. She was crazy. She never made sense. And she always invited us to most dumbest parties. And I'm like, why are you taking us to this lady's place? You know we don't even talk to this lady. Memories of her, like, I was never a bad kid in school. But, like, once a blue, when it's parent-teacher night, or, like, little things, you know, because, you know, how she's flamboyant and I have to, like, fuck up some bitch when they're trying to act stupid and shit like that in school. And my mom would come, and I'll be in the principal's office, basically in the hallway, and all you hear is, ch 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 Down the hallway, those are slippers, it's my mother. And I'm like, why? Oh, why? Oh, why? Did she decide to come like this? My mom does not care. When I say she doesn't care, she does not care. I saw even pictures of her when she was in her younger years, you know, before she had all this mess. Girl, talk about cray cray. She didn't care. She would go on the street with her slippers. She would, you see her go out and stuff with her hair undone because she doesn't even really care. And I was like, wow, you were like the first, like, celebrity that doesn't really care about getting dressed sometimes. You know, those people. So she would come to my principal's office with the bata, meaning lingerie. <laughs> if you guys are Latin, you guys will understand. She comes with this long ass robe sometimes or this long ass shirt or something with slippers. And if she was feeling good or she was in a nice mood, she'll come with her rollers, but with a bandana over it. But if she was really pissed off, she'll just come like that with the rollers freshly done and they're nice and glossy that she just sprayed them and stuff. I'm like, girl, she'll come to my freaking school with the belt in her hand about to whoop me. And I'm like, mommy, they'll call child services. And she'll be like, I hope they take you. I hope they take you. And I'm just like, mommy, I don't understand why you're doing this to me. This was my mother, my mother. She does not care of being who she is. And that made me feel like, you know what, who cares who I am? If you're not in the mood to be, you know, your normal self, be whatever. Like, just be cool. Be you. Doesn't matter what anyone says. She will have full-blown conversation with people with her rollers on. With her rollers on. And her slippers. And she'll have, like, a full-blown conversation with you. And I'm like, does she understand that she look like Lady Gaga right now? Before Lady Gaga was born? Like, come on. Like, I don't understand this lady. She would do that to us all the time. Uh, what else? She loves whipping us with the belt. I mean, I don't want to sound like she's an evil mom. She was a, a wonderful, a wonderful mom. But when she will beat us with the belt, sometimes when she's hitting us and I go like this, the belt will wrap around my arm. Oh, that will get her so mad. She will get so mad and she'll be like, I'm going to choke you. And then after that, she'll just make us our favorite meals. She couldn't stay mad with us for too long. And we weren't bad kids. We were just like regular kids, but sometimes we just never listen. <laughs> But I love my mom, you know. I always used to brush her hair sometimes when we were little. And because I always loved her hair, I loved her fragrances. She always wear, um, I was going to say Chanel number no. 5. She never wears Chanel number no. 5. She, uh, that was what I would wear. <laughs> she would wear Fifth Avenue a lot. And a white diamond from, Vic uh, I was going to say Victoria's Secret. Not Victoria's Secret. Um, from Elizabeth Taylor. Those were used to be her, like, her go-to fragrances. 
Um, and I used to love smelling them and always remind me of her. Every time I smell someone and they and they have that fragrance on, it reminds me of the, of her. Uh, but yeah, I love my mom. I always joke around with her. I always want her to fall in love again and be happy. But she's in a happy place. She feels like she's in a happy place. Um, but yeah, I feel like everyone should give hugs and kisses to their moms every day. And even talk to her, even yell at her. I don't know, anything. Just any contact with a mom. You know, it's very rare to have a mother It's um, that loves you and supports you. It's, it's you know, it's always the mom that you're going to go to for anything in life. Anything, anything in life, you go to her mom. Like, when one time I saw a mouse in my room. <laughs> Mind you that she lives in Florida. And I was like running. I was like, mama! Mama! And she was like, first of all, what you want me to do? I was like on the phone like, wait a minute, a mouse? I just saw a mouse just cross my living room and the first thing you're going to say is what you want me to do? I'm calling you because I don't know what to do. Really, lady? Really? No love right there. No love, no love, no love. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I always call her for anything. Any little thing in my life, I will call her. So what she told me about the with the mouse thing is like to put a trap and then catch him and then from there take him outside Put a like oil or, or um, like cooking oil, or whatever, on the trap where he can be free. I was like, uh, bitch, once I catch you, I'm gonna hang you inside of the damn door to make sure none of your little friends come over. Okay, fuck out of here. So I handle it my way. She, I just took a little bit of her advice. But yes, I love my mommy. I love her. I love her. I love her. I love her. I love my mom so much, and I don't even say the word I love you so much, but I really do love my mom. Right by your side, if I can't find the cure, I'll, I'll be too with my love. Things about my mom that, I will, things about her, she <coughs> only went with my daddy. She only had one penis. I'm like, oh, talk about misery, but enough about that. She taught me so many things, how to become a really good, responsible, mature man in this big old disgusting world. Especially if you're gay, it's worse. Um, she taught me that you don't need to have fancy clothes or fancy things to keep a man. All you gotta do is make sure you feed him. If you know how to make arroz con guendules, okay? He's gonna be all over you, like right on rice, okay? That's one of the things that she, she taught me so many things, how to make a good pernid. Pernid is the shoulder of, of, of a pig. And it's so good. You need to, to make a really good one. It has to be generation to generation passed down like the um, recipe. And my mom taught me that. So, and they keep coming back. They nobody here. I guess it ain't work. <laughs> no, but I never cook for my boyfriends. I mean, some of them, but not all of them. The ones that I cared about. The ones that I was like, eh, okay, whatever. We're just going to go out to eat because we're fancy. <laughs> but I love my mommy. Oh, my God. I'm trying to think about more memorable things about my mommy. Um, oh, this is a funny one. The first time I ever, we were like, I would say I was 15-ish. Shish, shish, shish. And my brothers were little too. And we were here in the Bronx. And uh, my mom was like, oh, I'm going out with, to the club. And I was like, to the club? You don't even drink. You take one sip of a beer. And you're really like, she's like, oh my God, I think I'm hungover. I'm like, mom, hungover means the next day. It's not like the same day that you took a gump. You're already like, I think I'm hungover. You can't be hungover that fast. Like really, what is she? it's just a beer. It's just a Corona, really. So she's like, it was, she was gonna go with her friend and her friend's daughter and another friend, whatever. It was Jenny. If you saw my um, uh, having brunch with Jenny from the block, her with my mom, they were all gonna plan to go to, um, to the club. And my mom was like, oh, I don't know what to wear. So she goes on, she goes to her room and we were in the living room and I was like, okay, she's gonna, I guess everyone's gonna go out. So we're gonna go to sleep early. But I wanted to see my mom dressed up because I always, I want her to have fun in my in life. You know, and we were going through a really crazy time in our life when we were little. So, and then she comes and she comes out of her room with some jeans and a white shirt and some heels on. And her hair was, 
she just took it out the roller, so she was, and I was like, uh, no. My mom is not going out like this. I was like, mommy, this is the first time you're going to the club, and this is how you're gonna dress? She was like, what? I'm not, I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I'm like, but mommy, I want you to look pretty and feel pretty, and I want someone to take you out dancing. I want you to be the shit, come on. So we go to her closet, we're looking through things, they couldn't find anything cute, and I think that's when she kind of like, okay, this was a full blown queen right now, because he's like getting accessories, and getting her scarves, and everything. I was like finding whatever she had that was somewhat cute to make it fabulous. So I saw this pantsuit that she had. It was a burgundy pantsuit. I don't think she remembers it. She wore it one time to a wedding or something or something like that that she was invited to, one of her dumb ass parties. When I say dumb parties, it's like, I don't even know these people. I'm like, mommy, you don't even know these people and you just randomly just show up to their parties? Like, really? Like, like <laughs> she's like, I know them. She's the sister of my cousin's sister friend. I know her. I was like, what? She's like, just shut up and play with her kids. I don't even like these kids. I don't even know them. You know what I mean? And some of them are like older than me. They're already smoking weed. I'm like, I'm into like freaking toys. Really? So anywho, so she would, she put on her pantsuit. She looked so cute. I put her hair up, rolled up, right? It, in little pins. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was just like, fucking winging it got that dollar store hairspray spray the crap out it was hard as a rock she, i put little curls on the side so she looked like a little jewish spanish girl and her little bangs and then her purple it was a bur the burgundy suit on we had like little sparkles here and oh and it had like a, a band it was so cool it had like a band for your boobs then you put on the blazer over it so you could see the band and it gives it like cleavage here and a little bit on the bottom. The pants were like, it was fitted. She had the same heels, like she had black heels, I think it was. She looked so beautiful. I was like, oh, my mom's gonna find herself a sugar daddy and get us out of this slum at the time. So I was like, yes, 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 I was so excited. Next thing you know, she looked at herself in the mirror. She said, I don't wanna go. I was like, why? She started crying because she started feeling like she missed my father. And I was like, no, lady, go out and find some silver penis. So she didn't really get to go. But the fact that I love the fact that she got dressed up and looked so pretty for that moment. And it was just like she just looked at herself and, I was, and she said, I would like someone to like me for me, not because I'm wearing all of this stuff. And I admired that. I was like, you know what? That's so true. I want someone to love me for me. Like, I don't have to be dressed up every time for you to like me. I just like me for my personality and who I am. My charisma, uniqueness, and talent. I love my mom. So, that I don't know. There's so many. I love my mommy. I love her. I love her. I love her. I love her. I love my mom so much. And I don't even say the word I love you so much, but I really do love my mom. I like how I'm like, yeah, I love my mom. You know what I mean? But yes, happy Mother's Day. I hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful Mother's Day. Say something beautiful about your mom. Say something silly about your mom. Embarrass her sometimes because you know she embarrassed you when you were little. And just be yourself because I know your mom would love that. Happy Mother's Day.